All right, guys, this is the 10th time. This is going to be the last time we're going to get through this. We're going to make the best Noel guide ever, okay? Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them below. I'll be providing more information on how scaling in, it works in general in another video separately. Um, but we're just going to talk about Noel here because I've seen a lot of people going like, hurry, hurry, let's just stack the fence, right? And that's cool. Like You can do that. And obviously... Uh, you know, it's hard to get crit rate stuff until later and crit damage stuff and crit scales better the more of it you have, right? Um, but, but, and hear me out here, but crit is really good, right? So <laughs> the way that character scaling works, right? And I'll just roughly cover this, um, even though I'm going to go into it more in depth in a separate video, is that you, your percent values scale only on your base values. So if you have feather attack, feather attack is not base attack. Weapon attack and character base attack from the character itself, those are the two things that contribute to your total base attack. And the only thing that contributes to character base defense is the character itself. So making sure you have a high level Noel is actually the biggest way to get damage out of um, her, uh, her Q, right? And then if you have a really good weapon or just like a high base attack weapon, that's going to be great. Uh, White Blind is obviously the best free-to-play weapon. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, when, when it has full stacks up, and it basically always has full stacks up, and if you have Refinement 5, which maybe is a bit out of reach right now, uh, but, you know, we'll get there. It's not, like, super hard to get that stuff, I wouldn't say. Uh, this is going to be, like, 96% overall, like, stat boosts. In addition to the stat boost that it has a substat for defense, uh, but yeah, so obviously defense percent is pretty good because it's going to be a higher number than attack percent and then scaling based on what generally seems to be a higher number until you have some absurd weapon uh, in the future. Um, but uh, let's just take a look here at how sweeping time scales, right? So uh, if you have a level 10 sweeping time, that means you have your constellations uh, up to, I want to say five. Uh, and you have a level 7 talent inherently for sweeping time, you're going to be doing 72% um, of your defense as attack in addition to your attack, uh, which is pretty big. And if you get that 6th constellation, you're getting an extra 50%. So getting that 5th and 6th constellation is the biggest damage increase that you would need uh, in order to be getting a ridiculous amount of damage um, on your Q. And if you're using her correctly, you're generally just going to be using her for her E and her Q. And then once her Q expires on her, you're probably going to be switching characters um, not too long after. Now, the, um, the E on Noelle, if you have first constellation, can actually make her a very good healer. And I do believe the healing scales on defense. So that might be another reason that you prioritize defense percent over attack. But artifacts have one main stat. They have four substats. So what do you want on them, right? Well, let's start with flower and feather where you don't care about the main stat. The substats are attack percent, defense percent, crit rate percent, damage percent. Those are what you want as your substats. Uh, maybe energy recharge percent on there somewhere, probably replacing attack percent. But that's a that's a fairly costly amount of damage that you are losing. Um, so the attack percent and the defense percent are ve both very good because they uh, they are better than the flat ones by a great amount because the flat ones do not increase your base attack and defense, uh, whereas these scale off of your base attack and defense so as you get to higher levels you get higher base attack and defense these are going to be uh much better as stats uh but these do not scale like with these um or like with your feather main stat uh but ideally you do want all of them in terms of max damage if you want to be having your queue up all the time maybe you say i don't want attack percent i'm gonna have um energy recharge instead and that just means you'll have more uptime but you're gonna lose more damage right uh, especially you're going to be losing a lot of your damage while you don't have your Q active. Uh, and you can see that if you have your Q active and you don't have con 6, but you do have like, you know, this much, let's just say this is like 60%. Let's say you don't have con 5 either. Uh, it's like three times damage with your Q up, and then it's like 
another bit more when you don't have your queue up. So, or sorry, when you have con six is what I mean to say there. Uh, so it's a very, very big difference between those numbers. So it's probably just worth it to get energy recharge is actually what I think here. Um, now, as far as the sands go, the sands is like probably the most disputed item of what you should get on it, right? Because the main stats that you're generally picking from are again, attack percent, defense percent, and energy recharge main stats, right? And again, I think you might actually want energy recharge here. Um, but defense, defense, I think, is just the general winner, and then maybe you want attack or uh, energy recharge substats on that one, right? But as, as far as this goes, Sans is the only one that you want defense percent as a main stat on. Um, the circlet, you want crit rate or crit damage. Now, those are your two ideals. Uh, crit damage would be the best thing that you could possibly get on the condition that you can cap your crit rate. Now the soft cap for crit rate is around 80% and you can see here that with the numbers we've got in here, which are like perfect stat, no boost artifacts that are five star plus zero um, or plus 20 if we're looking at the main stat. That's how I put these in. So we get 51.7% crit rate. 31.1% of that comes from a plus 25 star main stat crit rate artifact, right? So you really, really want that stat unless you have some absurd crit weapon and you get boosts on all your crit rate on everything uh otherwise there's just no way you're hitting that cap at all so that's going to be your best in slot there if for some reason you do do that and you can get crit damage as a main stat you know good for you but that's gonna be fucking rough is what i'm gonna say there okay so the goblet uh is just pretty straight up you just want geo damage like you could get fizz damage if you don't care about the cube but i don't know why you do that so geo damage uh, and you can see here if we set this to zero we lose fuck tons of damage again for the same reason that if we were to set our crit to zero uh, we would lose fuck tons of damage uh, having separate multipliers on your damage that actually affect all of your damage uh, after the attack percents and defense percents take their effect that's that's the important part okay um so that's generally just how the scaling is on noel uh I'm going to leave, again, this, I don't know if I mentioned already, I'm going to leave this in the description so you can play around with it if you want, uh, assuming I figure out how to do that. And obviously the other big thing would be enemy resistance reduction, but it's really hard to get geo elemental resistance reduction, so that's probably not going to help very much. So the artifact set that we actually want to run here, let's just pull up the list, uh, is probably going to be only something from these bottom sections because these ones can't get max five star if you're still using four stars berserker is a really good set um but you can't get five star berserker so we're not going to be using berserker at the top end because we want all those nice juicy stats okay so the geo damage set here is very good there is an in-game error with this set which is how it's described uh, and this is actually just a very good damage set, especially if you finish attacking with your Q, you get that elemental shield from the crystallize, you switch characters, you're going to get a huge bonus, makes her a really good support. Uh, so if you're using her as a healer, this might be your go-to. You might also go with Maiden Beloved if you're using her as a healer. If you have Constellation 1, she's a very good healer. Every hit you do with your shield up is going to be healing everyone in your party for an amount, again, based on your defense. Um... And that's, that adds up really quickly. Uh, it's not 100% of a chance to get that heal. It's about 50% unless you have your Q up. So obviously the more constellations, the better she is. Uh, this set, however, is also very good and probably bigger for Noelle's damage herself just because of that 40% and then also getting the shield effectiveness. So uh, if you're using Noelle as main DPS, this might be your go-to. But I think... <laughs> And it's ironic that this is the set that I would suggest. But if you really like doing her Q with her big spin attack, the Bloodstained Chivalry set, it, as long as you can defeat an opponent, is going to give her 50% charge damage, which is bigger than the 40% you would get here while you're doing the charged attack, spin attack, right? And then reduces the stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds. So you get, you get a big damage bonus that you don't already have on your non... Um, non-Q damage, and then you're getting a huge, huge, huge amount of 50% uh, attack damage um, here. So 
I actually would recommend this set as well if you happen to farm some of these uh, because this one, you drop it in the same area, you get Noblesse, and Noblesse is a great support item for some characters. So if you happen to get a bunch of these and you get good ones, you know, by all means, this is a good four-piece set. Otherwise, you can do some mix and matching, just get that 15% Geo damage, and then like uh, attack 18% or even like character healing if you want. I wouldn't go for Noblesse because this only increases the burst damage, uh, this part at least. Uh, it doesn't increase, I don't think, the damage when she's doing um, her attacks while she's affected by her buff. Uh, and then I think the only other thing really worth mentioning here, other than those sets, which you're gonna have to pick between, like, I'm sorry, there's, there's no easy way. You're just gonna, you're gonna have to pick this one or this one or one of the other ones, right? Or this one if you're a healer. Um, is uh, the four piece of Tiny Miracle, not Tiny Miracle. This one, Defender's Will. Um, this seems awfully good to me, but I don't think this is correct. I, I don't know how this scaling works, and so until we get more information, I might stay away from it. But it the way this reads, right, as far as I'm, I'm aware, is that if you have four different elemental dudes in your party, you'd have 120% Ellie res and the resonance, which is 15%, so 135% Ellie res, which I have to imagine should make you immune to elemental damage. But I don't think that's actually how that works because that just sounds absurdly broken, right? So I have to think that this is wrong somehow. So I want more information on this set because if, if you could just be immune to elemental damage, I think that might be a really good set. Uh, I don't know about you, but that sounds really good to me. Um, and then I guess I should just mention real quick that the Gladiator set is big damage. This is 53%, so even bigger than the um, Bloodstained, but only for normal attack damage. So this is the opposite. If you don't like doing your spinning attack and you like giving them just the four hit combo wax, and if you don't know how the combo works, again, I'll go into another video, but basically you wanna be doing the full four hit combo or whatever your character's combo is to get that max damage from the last hit before you cancel out and do something else, if possible, right? Obviously you don't wanna get hit, you gotta dodge when you gotta dodge, right? Um, but yeah, if you're doing just um, just normal attacks, this is gonna be a huge damage for you overall. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think there's something to be said for this being normal attack damage scaling and not attack percent like this stat is. I think that actually means that it comes out to be more damage than you would think it to be. Again, because of how multiple different things all multiplicatively scale together. Anyhow, I think that's most of what I've got for you here. I'm not going to go super in-depth on how Crystallize works as a mechanic or any of that stuff. Uh, I can just go here and just show you her um, kit real quick. This is my white blind. Um, hopefully you have a better white blind than I do, but I do not have an actual white blind, so this is my white blind. All right, uh, jokes aside, uh, doo -doo -doo, here we are. So as you can see, first constellation, very good if you're gonna use her as a healer, she's a great healer. This isn't very important, this isn't super important. This is actually pretty big DPS increase just you get more damage from stuff. And then uh, this is obviously huge damage increase and then this is also massive damage and duration increase. So you really wanna try and get up to here. If you're using her as main DPS uh, and you, or looking at that Klee ban, you're like, I don't like Klee. It's it's worth it if you're using her as main DPS to go for these if you can get there. Um, if you're using her as a healer and only as a healer and not really as a DPS, you probably don't care about these too much. Just get your Constellation 1 and honestly, you're probably good. Once you get that uh, nice and clean talent to get that uh, cooldown reduction, she's going to be popping off. And yeah, just make sure you're leveling up your talents, um, just standard, right? All right, well, uh, if you have any suggestions, again, leave them in the comments. And I do stream every day, or at least currently I do, on twitch.tv slash ventimain, usually sometime in the morning, uh, like 9 to noon EST, somewhere around there, however long I can manage. Uh, sometimes I'll stream later if I can. And, yeah, I mean, that's about it. That's where you can find me. And please leave a like and subscribe. The likes mean so much to me. I do currently read all the comments because I can read all the comments. And uh, yeah, I, I, I have my eye like a hawk on that subscriber count. If you subscribe, I see it and I thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot.